um, Shannon Rich calls out Brendan Schaub. So this guy is some UFC fighter dude who's got a really bad record. Um, I think he's one of those journeyman fighters, right? Typical your know, UFC journeyman stuff. No big deal, really. For some reason, I really don't know why. So he's a bit of a meme, this guy, because he lo- he's 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 lost a bunch of fights. He's probably lost more than he's won. Crazy record. But I don't know personally why Brendan seems to have like a hot, not hard on, but why Brendan seems to like laugh at him so much. I understand it's funny that he, but why does Brendan go above to kind of like poke at him? Especially given his record, especially Brendan. Brendan wasn't good either. So why does Brendan like like to go out of his way to insult this guy? It's a bit strange. Anyway, Brendan keeps insulting him or, you know, kind of mocking him and shit. The guy didn't take it too well. And he pressed Brendan in real life. He went up to him at a show. And obviously Brendan um, cowered and, you know, did the whole like I'm joking thing and pretending like he didn't say anything bad. I think it's when Brendan went to watch a one if, one championship fight or something. And I think Brendan's now said something else and the guys come back and basically said, hey, it's on site for Brendan if he wants or let's fight. It's pretty interesting to be fair because it's another, and again, this guy doesn't speak for the whole of the UFC, but it's just interesting to see another fighter that doesn't like Brendan. If they're not doing media together, Brendan doesn't really have the best relationship of, you know, with people like fighters in the UFC or fighters that do MMA in general. It's very strange for someone as a former fighter that everyone seems to just not like him that much. Hmm. The one thing I want to end with is, is it true you try to fight Brandon Schaub at a bar in uh, Scottsdale? So it wasn't a bar in Scottsdale. It was actually at his buddy's uh, UFL, United Fight League. Um, I heard about that. So let's go. Let's, let's just but talk about it. be honest with us. Yeah. So well, this is what happened. We heard happened. whispers. Here, this is what happened. And I, I'm going to be straight out. So they're all talking about Brandon behind his back. There's whispers of Brendan being confronted in public by this guy at this UFL event. Again, did someone say in the comments? Yeah, this is the reason why Brendan doesn't go. Who said that? Um, yeah, it's a big up Assad. This is definitely part of it, you'd imagine. Number one, the embarrassment of having people boo you in public or, you know, especially UFC, Dana White being petty and chucking you out. That's obviously a high in his mind. But also just the people that you might bump into that you've said shit shit about on your pod that you forgot because, you know, I've long had the theory that Brendan legitimately has the brain of a dog where like every day's a day. Like he doesn't remember something happened yesterday. Everything's a like everything's in the moment type of thing. And I think that's the way he kind of feels. So maybe he says stuff about people, he's forgot, and then it comes back to him when he meets him in public and he's like starstruck or startled about the whole thing. Not with yeah. you. Uh, Schwab. Brendan Schwab was on Joe Rogan. Schwab. Joe Rogan said, hey, look at this record of Shannon Rich. And Brendan Schwab literally said, because I got the clip, yeah, it's the worst record I've ever seen, you know, something like that. And if it's the worst record you've ever seen, Bill, you don't even know me. And you're running your mouth talking, you know, whatever. So, But it is a bad record, though, Shannon Rich. Come on, be fair. I know Brendan's a bit of a cunt, but it is a bad record. Let's not, you know what I mean? Let's be fair as well. Your record is fucking crazy. Anyway, I went up to him because I never met him before. I literally went up to him. I shook his hand and said, hi, I'm Shannon Rich. He goes, hey, how you doing? I said, why would you talk shit about me? You don't even know me, dude. And he goes, no, no, it wasn't you. I was talking about Shannon Briggs. I'm like, no, you said Shannon Rich. No, 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 it was Shannon. You see, that's why, Brendan's a, that's why Brendan's a bully. Brendan's okay with punking and dunking on Steve will do it and threatening to break his neck and shit. And also by default, because d- don't be confused. Brendan threatening Steve will do it. And also grappling with Brian Callum before the fire and the kid. And, you know, nearly, you know, breaking his legs a couple of times and his neck. is not just for them. It's for us as well. That's him sending a signal. Sending a not so subtle hint to people like myself and maybe even others. Even probably you guys in the stream chat. That if you continue talking shit, I'm going to break your neck. So clearly he's on that time with the haters and the trolls. Cool, no problem. We get it. But when fighters, when people that are in your same lane or big time celebrities, suppose people that have got some fame and clout, say shit about him, he cowers. He has nothing to say. But when his content creators or people that he knows he can punk, he's obviously big boy talk. But when it comes to this guy, he confronts him. Again, I don't think Brenda was in the wrong for saying that he has a horrible record because he does have an objectively horrible record. But then to not stand on what you say and say it with your chest and be like, yeah, I meant you, but your record is quite bad. He then says, oh, no, it wasn't you. It was Shannon Briggs, a whole black guy. So you confuse Shannon Rich with Shannon Briggs. 
All right, cool. Shannon Briggs. I said, okay, I'm gonna let it go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let they it don't go. Even look the same. Hey, yeah, yeah. You so guys I, don't look. None so, none so literally, I let it go. And then he went back on another podcast and was like, "Well, Shannon Rich said this to me." Blah blah. Okay, Brendan, where you at? Hey, if you have a problem with me, we can settle it. I don't give a shit. Oy. Oy. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I'm just saying. Hey. 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 But you are not scared of nobody. I don't give a shit. He used to fight. Yeah, he used to fight. He's but a he wasn't good he look was at his record. He's look a, at his record. Look at mine. Well, you you got more losses than he got fights. <laughs> well, I got a lot. That's a good point. <laughs> you got more losses than he's got fights. More wins than he's got fights too. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, okay. Yasi. Hey, hey, you know? hey. Yo, tell let's, let's put that fight. Hey, let's put that fight together. Yeah, we can do it. Together. Let's do it together. Do you think? Do you think you would smash Brandon Chubb? Because um, he, he knows how to fight, though. Let's be honest. Let's be he was a heavyweight fighter in the UFC. Okay. Yeah. And you give him that smoke, bro. I'm good, man. He's a I mean, black, he's a black I don't guy. give a shit, man. I no, don't I care, bro. This. I don't really have anything against Brendan. He, I, I saw his comedy. I don't think he's that funny. Damn! Oh, oh shit! But Rampage as well, laughing and joining along while also being a part of the fight. Calabas's fight companion crew is a bit grimy. I'm not gonna lie. Brendan ain't gonna be happy about that. Brennan ain't gonna be happy about that. That's his livelihood. Okay, bro, you I saw know. his comedy. He's not that funny, bro. You taking the gloves oh. off? He was funny. I mean, he was okay. Did, did, he wasn't that funny. Did you did you laugh at his jokes at all? Did he... all he talked about was gay stuff? It was all gay. It was all about being gay. Did you... I think he has a thing with gays or something. <laughs> that's so accurate. That's such an accurate synthesize. That's so, that's such an accurate way to synthesize and to describe Brendan's overall comedy, right? He gets on stage and has these weird mannerisms where he's kind of acting zesty, but he's not. And he also talks about dicks a lot. So you're like, hold on, is this guy struggling with his own sexuality or is he just out there and this is part of his bit? Like, what's going on here? That's a great way to describe Brendan. All he does is talk about dicks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly he's got the humor of a fucking college kid he's like a college kid stuck in the body of a you know 40 year old man it's like what the fuck is going on here all he does is talk about dicks something i don't have any problem with gay <laughs> all he does is talk about dicks <laughs> oh but yeah i would love to see brendan fight this guy um just for the lows but I also think it just, again, encapsulates just why people don't like Brendan, you know? He talks shit about people, but then when they confront him, especially people like this, he cowers and then ducks the smoke. And then he goes back on his podcast and chats more shit again. But then he says he's the greatest guy. He's the nicest guy. He never says anything bad about anybody. It's like, yeah, you do. You say a ton of bad things about people all the time. You know what I mean? You say a ton of bad things about people all the time, like we all do on the internet, because that's what the internet's for. It's about talking shit. But he likes to pretend like he's on some moral high ground, you know? That's the annoying part of the guy. Like, you're not on some moral high ground. You're in the muck with the rest of us, really and truly. You're here like everybody else. There's no moral high ground here. None whatsoever. But yeah. What do I know? What do I know? What do I know? Okie dokie. Let's move on from that one. We did that. Oh, let's also do this. This is a good summary, actually. So I'm put together this summary of their beef. This kind of explains why they're beefing. Be like the person that put this together as well. This is the, the Rich and Shorb drama in full. This is give you an overview of why they're beefing in the first place. Or why he's beefing with him. It's not Michael. Wow, he fought Shannon Rich on his third fight. Shannon Rich has like a million fights. Dude, click on Shannon Rich. Look at my get Guyman, the Joker. Old school, two thousand three. Yeah. Click, click on Shannon Rich. How many fights does he have? <clears throat> oh, is that Brendan's voice? Brendan lost his voice. Oh, I remember this episode. So Joe Rogan says Shannon Rich has a million fights, and let's see what Joe, what Brendan says. So Joe Rogan just says he has a million fights. What does Brendan say? I'm gonna say he's got. How many does it say? <sighs> Holy shit! Does it say his record. Fifty three and seventy nine. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's the worst record I've ever seen. That's crazy. <laughs> that is. Cr he's laughing. You see. Rogan says he has a, he has a loads of fights. Rogan just keeps saying that's crazy. He's being respectful. And Brendan, a former fighter who's fought in the UFC, who's been knocked out a bunch of times as well in devastating fashion, is that people mock him. You'd think there'd be a little bit of like professional decorum, a little bit of respect between fighters. He's laughing at the guy's record. 
No wonder that Shannon Rich is angry. You know? No wonder. Record I've ever seen. That is crazy. <laughs> 53 and 79. Jesus Christ. It's the worst record I've ever seen. That is crazy. That that's is crazy. Why are you that's, fucking, that's, that's fucking terrible. And then Shannon Rich sees him in real life, shakes his hand. I like that Shannon, big, big up Shannon Rich as well, by the way. I like that he got someone to record him. I like that he got someone to, someone to sit next to Brendan and record the whole confrontation. Big up. Because Brendan would have definitely lied about the whole thing, but it's on video. He still would lie, but it's on video. <laughs> Look at Brendan's face. <laughs> he looks like those statues in Hawaii, isn't it? Those head statues. Like. Look at his face. <laughs> with, with his girl's sunglasses on, trying to be fashionable. Oh my god, he did not want to fight. <laughs> Look at Jay Shaw. Jay's 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 worried. Look at Jay. Look at Jay Shaw in the background, people. Look 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 at Jay. Look at Big Jay Just trying to pretend like he's not he's not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jay. <laughs> uh, look at Jay. Sure. He's nervous. He's so nervous. Oh. <sighs> Brendan is such a pussy. No, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Shannon Briggs. No, you were talking about me. But to be fair, though, that's a, that clip is so old. I don't think Brendan remembers. Let's be fair. This clip is so old. Like Bre This is like a many, many years ago. Like, you know, this is many years ago. Brendan is like 50 pounds lighter. He's not drinking whiskey back then. He has that weird hairline thing going on. Like, he's loved by Brogan. He's having jokes with... J this is when he used... J young Jamie used to like Brendan. This is a long time ago. I don't think he even remembers. I swear to God, I don't think he even remembers that he said it. Like I said before, I know Brendan lies a lot, but I think a lot of Brendan's lying is just because he's just so dumb and doesn't remember things that he said. So he just makes it up every day as he goes along. So, I don't know. There's a guy named, Sh so there's Shannon Briggs, who's the boxer, right? Yeah. Let's go, champ, Shannon Briggs. Then there's a guy named Shannon Rich, who's like old school MMA guy. Probably, I think he has the most fights in the history of MMA. And Shannon Rich somehow thought I was talking stuff about, not talking stuff, but was making fun of him. I don't know how you it were. happened. You were. Mm -hmm. But he was talking. He, he goes, hey, man, you, I thought we were. You were. You were. You were talking shit cool. about him right here. About Does it say? Holy Does shit. Does it say his record? Losses. 53 and 79. Jesus Christ. It's the worst record I've ever seen. That is crazy. <laughs> that is That's talking shit, to be fair. Um, I don't know how it happened, mm -hmm. but he was talking. He, he goes, "Hey man, I thought we were cool." A bunch of my guys sent me stuff. Say you were talking stuff. I was like, I, "And you know, to be fair, I've never. Maybe I've heard him, but I'm not too familiar with his work. I know, I know he has all the fights in the world, but I think it got the lines got crossed because I was talking about Shannon Briggs, mm -hmm. not Shannon Rich. Very similar. Very, but very, very. Similar. That was the only thing I could think of when he was talking about. And he's not a great guy. Nice guy. Had a lit ass outfit on too. <laughs> But um, really nice guy. But he's like, yeah, oh, man, I, it bothered me, man. It, you, they said you were, you know, you know, knocking on me or roasting me. I was like, ah, you sure it's not Shannon Briggs? Shannon Briggs. I'm like, no, you said Shannon Rich. Oh, no, no, it was Shannon Briggs. I said, okay, I'm gonna let it go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let they it don't go. Even look the same. Hey, yeah, yeah. You so guys I, don't look. So, like, like so literally, I let it go. And then he went back on another podcast and was like, well, Shannon Rich said this to me, blah blah. Okay, Brendan, where are you at? Hey. If you have a problem with me, we can settle it. I don't give a shit. Oy. Oy. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Only Brendan could. How could you be Dre Rogan's friend, be a former UFC fighter, but then also not be liked by other fighters? Shouldn't they be all trying to suck your dick because they all want to get on Rogan? 
but they l- clearly don't like you that much. It's really odd, isn't it? If you're associated with Rogan and you're former, you should have such a, a better relationship with the fighters. You should, they should like like you, want to be around you, want to befriend you. 